having been done with the narcotic analysis let's uh, see anti inflammatory agents and we saw the classification yesterday right uh, classification of anti inflammatory agents includes salicylic acid derivatives example sodium salicylate and aspirin and aryl anthralinic acid derivatives mefenamic acid and meclofenamate tetraaryl acetic acid derivatives are indomethacin talmetin zomepriac and aryl acetic acid analogs example sulindac and baclofenac Sorry for that. <clears throat> Then pyrolysin derivative example is ketrolac, aryl propionic acid derivative example ibuprofen and naproxen, oxycamps uh, example piroxicam, aniline and, and uh, para aminophenol analogs example phenacetin and paracetamol other name is estaminophen. The last category is pyrazolidin dione's example is antipyrinal. phenyl butazone right so let us see the chemistry of these anti inflammatory agents and let's see the chemical structures so first one is sodium salicylate so sodium sodium salicylate so this is very simple a benzene ring or phenyl ring having a hydroxyl group and co oh carboxyl okay in this carboxyl group the hydrogen is sorry your board is visible give me a moment the voice got disconnected so now it is visible right what is visible confirm yes, so sodium salicylate is phenyl ring having hydroxyl group and at the adjacent position you have carboxylic acid in in carboxylic acid the hydrogen is replaced with sodium sodium is a positive cation so coo minus is the negative anion so this is the structure of sodium salicylate okay and if you see aspirin the other name of aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid acetyl salicylic acid okay 
So this is right. Sodium salicylate first. Okay. Here we are writing carboxylic acid instead of sodium carboxylate. Okay. Here in hydroxyl group, the hydrogen is replaced. The hydrogen is replaced with acetyl group CO CH3. So this is the structure of aspirin acetyl salicylic acid so it is a prodrug okay it is a prodrug aspirin is a acetyl salicylic acid it is a prodrug of salicylic acid And it inhibits platelet function also. This you have to remember. It is very important. Inhibits platelets function. So if you have any heart patient in your home, observe their medication, you will find aspirin. Right? Heart patients, because it uh prohibits thickening of the blood okay so in particularly myocardial infarction and other cardiac uh, related uh, indications aspirin is chiefly given okay although it is anti-inflammatory agent it has extra platelet inhibiting inhibitory function which is helpful in preventing the blood clots in arterioles okay arteries and arterioles and it is a prodrug of salicylic Acid. That means after entering and after getting absorbed and after uh, metabolism, aspirin will be getting converted into salicylic acid inside the body. Okay, and sodium salicylate is used in rheumatic fever and gout. And gout. What is gout? Formation of uric acid crystals at joints, bone joints. That will be very painful and rheumatic arthritis. You might have heard, right? Uh, the erosion of bones uh, due to their loss of mineral composition. Okay. And that causes very much pain. Particularly, you observe this kind of inconvenience in elderly people. So, this is about sodium salicylate and Aspirin. Next, NRL, anthralinic acid derivatives, that is mephanemic acid and meclofenone. Okay. Mephanemic acid. We need to learn the synthesis for it. So, what is it? I'll draw here so that I can write the synthesis. A penile ring, C O O H, and here if you put O H, that will be salicylate, right? Salicylic acid. But here, instead of OH, I am putting NH. Okay. To this amino group, you have a phenyl group attached having two methyl groups as substituents at the adjacent positions. This is the structure of meponymic. Acid and how it is synthesized, it is synthesized from orthochlorobenzoic acid. What is the structure of orthochlorobenzoic acid? So, 
So benzene and carboxylic acid, benzoic acid, and ortho one comma two position. It is one. It is two. Okay. Ortho chloro benzoic acid. And two comma three xylidine. Here and in the adjacent position, you have methyl groups, two methyl groups, two comma three xylidine. So we use potassium carbonate and it undergoes a condensation reaction. Okay, and what we good will get potassium salt of carboxylic. Here is carboxylic acid here. So we'll get potassium salt of carboxylic in that position. COO minus K plus. And condensation. Here xylidine moiety gets condensed to benzoic acid moiety. Fine. So we need to remove the potassium salt. For that, we'll add an acid, preferably HCl, to get mephanemic acid. This simple is the synthesis of mephanemic acid. And what is the use of mephanemic acid? It is used for the treatment of dysmenorrhea and mild pain. Treatment of what is this menorrhea? So you please uh, know and let me know. Treatment of this menorrhea and mild pain. So this is about mephanemic acid. Moving on. Let's see the structure of meclofenamate. Meclofenamate. Or uh, meclofenamic acid. Meclofenamic acid. So, it is somewhat similar to mephanemic acid, only you have extra chlorine atom attached. Otherwise, it is same. So this is the structure of mephanemic acid. In mephanemic acid, if you put two chlorines, where instead of this methyl group, you put one chlorine and another chlorine here, that is meclo. That means it is indicating that it is similar to mephanemic acid, but it is having chlorines. Here, only one methyl group, where in mephanemic acid you have two methyl groups. Here, only one methyl group. Here. And you have two chlorine atoms. So, this is the structure of meclofenamic mm -hmm. acid. It is used to treat acute and chronic rheumatoid arthritis. Most of the drugs are used for rheumatoid arthritis in this category and osteoarthritis. I abbreviate them as RA and OA. Fine. This is 
Okay. Then heteroaryloelastic acid analogs endomethacin is there, right? Uh, let me show you the structure of endomethacin. Indo acid. So, do you know the structure of indole? You must know. I have taught you in the first class of this course. NH has substance here on methyl and here acid, carboxylic acid, stick acid, and you have OCH3 here. So the ring is indole, right? The ring is indole, so it is indomethacin. Fine. So here at hydrogen, you need to add this extension that is benzoyl chloride one. So this is the structure of indoor. With acid. So, what is the category? Heteroaryl acetic acid. Where is acetic acid? Acetic acid. With what is heteroaryl? Heteroatom nitrogen. Aryl. This is ring is aryl. So, heteroaryl acetic acid derivative. Indomethacin. Remember, you have indole and methyl here and methoxy here and acid. Remember for acetic acid. Fine. Let's move on and see the structure of tall metal. So, what is tall metal? We have a pyrrole here and you have a toling here. Okay. Remember, Tall indicates toll. So first I write toll. The engineering with CSP is tolling. Connected to carbonyl and this bridges to connect with pyro. And this instead of hydrogen, you have a methyl and you have acetic acid. Pleasant. Okay, this is the structure of tall and Same indication is homotoid orthodox. So, what is the next deck? That is Zometriac. Zometria. So, it is somewhat similar to tall -metic. So show, uh, see the structure. Here, the methyl group is replaced with chlorine. And similar connection bridging through carbonyl and you have a pyrrole. And here same methyl substituent. And you have extra methyl substituent here and here a stick acid as substituent. So this is the structure of Zomepria. So it is a simple analgesic and anti-inflammatory agent. So these are the three examples in Dormitacin, Tolmatin, and Zomepria per heteroaryl acetic acid analog. Okay, then aryl acetic acid analog, sulindac and diclofenac. Let's see the structure of sulindac and diclofenac.
cylindac. So to observe the structure and let me know what all are the part is present. Double bond here, C H I S O C H. Double bond here, yeah. I'll do and here one C T uh, C. Okay, so this is the aryl ring, this is one more aryl ring, and this is acetic acid. So in that comes under aryl acetic acid analog category. So this is the so one six member ring, one five member aromatic rings. Okay, and we have another phenyl and sulfonate moiety. Methyl sulfonic acid. Okay. So, this is the structure of Linda. It is also used in rheumatic muscular skeletal disorders and acute coat and osteoarthritis. Very wide range of use. Motoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, acute gout, muscular skeletal disorders. skeletal disorders. So this is all about Sulindac and the next one is Diclofenac. Let me write it down here itself. Diclofenac. What we have discussed about Diclofenac yesterday? After vaccination you should not take any painkillers and most commonly available painkiller over the counter is diclop. So again, phenylalanine, acetic acid, and you have a amine group which is linking a phenyl group with two chlorine atoms. So this is diclofen ac. Okay, so ac, acetic acid. Okay, fin. Phenyl group, a uh, phenyl group. Okay, diclo, two chlorine atoms. So, relate like that and remember the picture structure. Diclofenac. So, cylindac and diclofenac are aryl, aryl acetic acid analogs. Okay, simple aryl, hetero, not hetero aryl. Okay, so if you observe cylindac, it is aryl group, but not hetero aryl. There is no hetero atom in there. So you have two aromatic things, but you don't have any hetero atoms. Fine. So moving on, let's see the structure of pyrolysin derivative that is ketorolac. Ketorolac. So let me write down the ketone first. Benzene connecting to ketone. And ketone connecting the other ring that is this one. Is it pyro, which is fused to another tetrahedro? You have a carboxylic acid. So 
this is pyro is in pyrolysin so this is the structure of ketorolac and you have pyrol upside down used together okay this is pyrol but there are not double bonds in that okay this moiety and a phenyl ring both are connected with keto and you have a carboxylic group that's it. So this is the structure of heter. And the next category is aryl propionic acid derivative. One is ibuprofen and napoxin. Okay, so let me show you the structures first, and then we'll learn the synthesis of. Draw naproxen first. This category over. So, okay, let me take proof in itself. So, It is a propionic acid derivative and aryl. So first I'll draw aryl ring. Aryl ring, simple aryl ring is benzene. So aryl ring. So propionic acid. So observe this side chain here. CH2. 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 Okay, this is on one side. At para position, you have this one. C, CH3, and CO, OH. So, how many carbons? One, two, three. Three carbons. The prefix in alkanes is prop. And what is it? Acid. So, propionic acid. And this is the aryl ring, aryl ring and propionic acid. And at para position, you have a so butyl group. One, two, three, four. Okay. You can also call it as tertiary butyl. One carbon is linked to three more carbons. So tertiary butyl group. Okay. So Ibu, isobutyl group, pro, propionic acid. So, aryl ring having isobutyl group on one side and uh, propionic acid on the para position is the structure of Ibu, Ibu Kufinals. You can pronounce it any way, but generally people call it as group. Okay, so how it is synthesized? How it is synthesized, we'll see <laughs> later. But uh, first, let me show you the structure of naproxy so that it will be easy to compare. So, naproxen contains naphthalene. So, what is naphthalene? Again, an aromatic. This is coming under. Aryl propionic acid, so we must have propionic acid. So here it is propionic acid. Okay, this is the propionic acid. You have methoxy group here. So ibuprofen and naproxen. Okay, ibuprofen and naproxen both are aryl propionic acid derivatives. Aryl portion in brufin is this, and aryl portion in naproxen is naphthalene. Okay, in brufin, the aryl portion is phenyl. Okay, and you will have propionic acid here, it is attached here. In naproxen, it is attached here. And I brufin have extra substrate that is isobutyl group, so this is it. And you have methoxy group in naproxen. Clear. So this is comparison of 
movement and airport. To separate the space. And for today, we'll see lastly synthesis of group. The starting material for the synthesis of group is isobutyl benzene. Synthesis of group. So the starting material is isobutyl benzene. So write the isobutyl group. So this is isobutyl benzene. Isobutyl benzene. And we'll add acetyl chloride. And we'll perform Friedel Crafts acylation because we are using aluminium trichloride that is the reagent, chief reagent used in Friedel Craft acylation. Okay. So what happens? Acetyl groups comes and attaches at para position. So CO, CHT. So this is for isobutyl acetophenone. Okay. For isobutyl acetophenone. Then we'll dissolve it in hydrogen cyanide. So cyano being an active group, what happens? It converts acetophenyl acetophenone group into ketone is converted into OH, and cyano group comes and gets attached here so that it is easy to remove while adding carboxylic acid. So write the same structure, but modify acetyl group. So phenyl ring. And you have this carbon, the ketone, O, is converted into OH and methyl group is retained and now cyanide group is attached. So now what we do, we reduce, okay, sorry, we oxidize OH to carboxylic acid. That's it. So that we add hydrogen iodide and phosphorus and water. Finally, you get proof in replacing. Methyl goes away. Doesn't work. What we need? We need easy leaving group is cyano, so it will go off. Okay. And OH will be added with extra oxygen through oxygenation and it will be converted into or boxley group that will give us profit. Voice of butyl group. Oil group. And here propionic acid. That is it. Okay, so this is 
the synthesis of proof. 